The following Best of Central Florida program is sponsored in part by these fine sponsors. Welcome to the Best of Central Florida, joined as always by my beautiful co-host, Michaela Nichols. Michaela, say something. Hi, how are you? You said you didn't want to talk, I, so well, <laughs> I, I want to go right to you. Thank you, I'm good. That's all you got? <laughs> yes, because I want to talk about summer business. How uh, hot is it out there? It's very hot, that's it, it, why I'm sleeping. It is hot in Central <laughs> Florida for sure. Great news, we have a lot of wonderful summer businesses in Central Florida, but today, a great show, but also sad in a lot of ways too. We started, what, three and a half years ago? We started yes. the other show eight years ago. And every single day we come in here, Ivan and Bob have been fantastic producers. Absolutely. Today is their last day. They're Absolutely. riding off into the sunset. We will miss them. Thank you we both will. so much. Uh, are you ready? I am. Here's what we're going to do. A very short break. When we return, the best summer businesses in all of Central Florida. The best of Central Florida, Michaela's Choice, is sponsored in part by these fine sponsors. We're talking about all things best summer business, and we've got to be honest, summer can be crazy. You have to stop looking at me like that. You have to be safe. Basically, <laughs> especially it's hot, you're going in the pools, you need to know how to swim, and I trust my friends over at Safety First, PD Aquatics, I'm joined by the founder, Becky, Miss Becky, and we have Anne Marie, who is a swim instructor. Miss A, thank you guys for being on the show. Hi. Hi, how are you guys? Absolutely, I'm great. Honestly, I feel like we could just talk about everything and nothing at the same time, but I want to talk about your why. So what made you start your company? So I started my company when I got pregnant with my little girl, and I was kind of like, what am I gonna do? Um, having a background in water sports, I didn't know that drowning was a thing. Mm -hmm. So um, I researched uh, swim programs for an entire year, and after I had my little girl, I went and got certified um, through the PDS Swim Academy. Uh, through Joy McGinty. She's actually also local in Orlando. And uh, I started and it kind of just took off. And now we are teaching in an indoor facility. How many years later? Eight years yeah, later? eight years later. <laughs> and it's so important. So, we were talking earlier about who you trust your kids with, especially, you know, when it comes to learning how to swim. You know, swim, float, swim, right? That's yes. your, and repeat, right? You gotta repeat, you gotta keep doing yeah. it. But why is it so important to trust people like you as opposed to someone else? So it's very important to know what swim program you're getting your children into because there's programs out there that are just teaching um, basically just the swimming aspect, whereas you also need to know how to flip over and self-rescue as a child if you can't get to the wall or the step when you do fall in. So one first thing first is you do need to know how to turn around and get the wall if you can, but if you can't as a little baby, you need to learn how to flip over and float and breathe. Absolutely, and you kind of teach anyone, anyone of all ages, you know, and even those with special needs. Yes. yes. How is yes. that process like, you know, for someone maybe who needs a little bit of extra assistance? You kind of hold their hand the whole way and spend more time? We kind of just do the same program that we do with any other atypical child. We just do any type of modifications per child. So we make it based on what their need is. Absolutely. At what age do I need to start thinking as a parent about sending my child to see you? So a lot of programs will say six months as long as they're crawling, but I would say our favorite age is to start uh, from eight to 10 months. That way they have their motor, motor skills developed. Incredible. So, and that's kind of the, the aspect where a lot of people are like, my child used to swim before they walk, yeah. you know? So, and that's really, really what people should strive for. And then you keep them in the program, which are maintenance lessons and you keep them in for a year or so. And next thing you know, you have a three-year-old diving down and getting toys and can swim the whole pool without, wow. you know. And you gotta remember, this is their attention. first sport. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, yeah this and is a great can introduction. And save their life. And mm -hmm. you know, talking about that, you your business has grown immensely. Obviously, you both mm -hmm. are great at what you do, but you've recently started a nonprofit. Why is that? So, um, well, <laughs> I, start, <laughs> I started in my backyard <laughs> pool and um, 
I needed everyone to like me <laughs> on the street. <laughs> so I started teaching their kids for free uh, so that they wouldn't be bothered by the traffic. Yeah. And then I started feeling bad because so-and-so couldn't afford it. Mm -hmm. So then I would teach them for free. And then I opened a facility and I was like, oh, I have to pay my instructors for that. I have it's to costly. pay the bills for my facility. So I was like, my best friend came to me. Um, I actually started out of her backyard pool. And she's like, listen, we need to start a nonprofit that helps you know families in need pay for their swim lessons. So I was like, that's perfect. Then I can just at least pay the instructors through that and pay the facility Absolutely. so that everything gets paid accordingly. Um, and then we can expand it and we can look for other instructors who are also quality swim um, instructors and help maybe provide families in other areas. So. Um, the goal was to start with us and maybe we can expand through the state one day. Um, so, but we have been growing ever since 2020. And, People um, can come see you at the facility, correct? Yeah, yep, yep. Awesome, awesome. Well, do yourself a favor, go check yeah. them out. But first, hang on, time out. We gotta talk about this book because this is so cute. It's about man. it's not about manatees, it's about the conversation of swimming through this. What made you write the book? Yeah, so, um, as most people sh know probably whenever a child starts swim lessons it is very scary um, because they don't know how to breathe underwater and we have to teach them how to hold their breath um, so a lot of parents get really nervous with their kid crying so i was like how can i make this easier how how can i make it to where parents can speak about the program with their child at home and not mess up my lessons here because a lot of times parents think they can teach swim lessons too when they paid me to teach their swim lessons hmm. or their kids swim funny lessons. yeah <laughs> so like how can i make this easier so i created a book that basically um, the manatee brings the child through the program and um, it's for the parents as a tool to talk with their children at home and then they can work on maybe floating on the floor at home because it is always easier to if you learn something out of the water you can bring it to the water easier so they can talk about getting their arms out and legs out and belly up. If you want to be able to float like a manatee do yourself a favor and call my friends at Safety First Pedia Aquatics today. <laughs>
Um, the inventory selection here is phenomenal. Uh, the support on distribution is phenomenal. Um, and uh, you know we really do get that red carpet service that we don't get with one of the the, the huge uh, yeah. distributors that are out there. Absolutely. And, and we get a very personal service. Well, keep up the great work over at Handy Air. We'll You've got to check you. out Old Ash. They know what they're doing. Duquesne speaks for itself. I know it's changed our life. So uh, get yours today. The Best of Central Florida is sponsored in part by these fine sponsors. When I think about summer in Florida, I think about Ocala and Marion County in the northern part of Florida. Maybe it's a tiny bit cooler, not, not a whole lot, let's be honest, but you, you think about the horses and the springs and all the amazing outdoor activities there are in Ocala. Who better to ask than our good friend Alicia Lopez with Ocala Realty World. Ocala in the summer, it is a lot of fun. It is. What do you do? Well, I work. <laughs> you sell real estate, you of course. Should have yeah. summer. Right. Yes, but I I move people so they can be close to yeah. all the fun stuff. But Marion County is known for springs. I believe it's eight or nine freshwater springs all through Marion County. Right. So the water's like seventy-two degrees mm -hmm. all year round, and people are really daring because they jump in and there are alligators, right. which I think like. Real. They say they don't come in because of the water temperature, yeah. but I don't know. You, you've I'm seen them? You have oh, proof, yeah. huh? Yeah. Mm. I stay in the boat. Now, would, you, would you jump in that water? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You said it with a little hesitation, but yeah. not as much as I, I thought. If I see an alligator, I'm not jumping in, but if I don't, maybe. Oh, I, I get the whole, if you can see it, it's better, but like, what are you going to do, out swim the gator? I don't Probably think not. so. Probably not. Nope. <laughs> then it's my time. And horse country, of course. <laughs> yes. Definitely with the World Equestrian Center, it's brought, everybody's coming our way now for like a weekend trip from let's say Tampa, Orlando to come and see the Equestrian Center and they say it's like the horse Disney World. It really is. Yes. And the crowds, obviously a lot of people think about going down to the attractions in the summer. Mm -hmm. The crowds can be unbearable. So when, when you add unbearable heat with unbearable crowds, it can be a, a bad combination. The it crowds. Can be unbearable. It can be unbearable. <laughs> it's genius. Yes. I'm stealing my words. Unbearable. Yes. Yes. Unbearable. Sometimes you're unbearable next to me. No. Oh, wow. Not, Bye. I'm just kidding. That, that was mean. Get and back I to your I story. I, I, I apologize about her. No, you don't have to. It's unbearable kidding. crowds, yes. unbearable heat. It makes it maybe mm -hmm. not as fun. Ocala spread out, not very crowded still. No, not at all. And there's. So a lot of springs. You've got zip lining that we still yes. have to go. Yes. And we're, we're going like to push to. Justin down there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll push him. Yes. You know, I've never been You'll zip like lining. That. Not you one will. time. Wow. You will. I'm telling you. Will you two go it. first or hold my hand? No, we're something? pushing you first. One go <laughs> first and then another one will push you. Yeah, yeah got it. <laughs> well, I look forward to it. And now, Ocala, as far as a real estate market, still a great market, but mm -hmm. it's still way less expensive than right here in Orlando. How does, uh, how does it compare? It's still about 40% less than almost all of Florida, which is amazing. Yeah. And the taxes are lower, insurance is lower, so it's really a great uh, choice for home ownership. It really is. If you're looking at buying a home and maybe you want to get out of the hustle and bustle here, check out Ocala Realty World. The QR code is on the screen right now. Alicia is great with you. She will send you listings as they come on the market that day, or even sometimes she has listings that aren't even on the market yet, and you can get ahead of the curve, not only to buy a house for you and your family, but to invest in real estate up in the Ocala. We were just talking about Levy County. The whole part of, of Northern Florida is somewhat untapped tapped in a lot of ways and is really, really blossoming. I think it's a great way to invest, a great place to invest in real estate. How do you see the market going the next year or so? Just going to keep being strong and keep being fabulous and, you know, blinders on for the rest of the world, but yeah. Ocala, <laughs> Marion County, definitely the best place to be. I agree. Mm -hmm. Alicia Lopez, Ocala Realty World, she is not unbearable. And no, Ocala, and she's fun to zip line with. <laughs> Ocala is not unbearable as well. We're going to go zip lining together yes. soon. Yes. Here's what we will do, a very quick break. When we return, let's mm -hmm. continue to explore summertime in Central Florida. We have just left the Steenhatchee River Inn and Marina, and 15 minutes later, we're here in the Gulf of Mexico with an amazing captain, Captain Mike Baker's with me. It's such an easy trip out here. We got scalloping at scallop season, amazing fishing, but it's really this way of life. How do you feel out here? 
I feel at home. I'd rather be here than on land, to tell you the truth. Yeah. You know, we had a, you know, a massive hurricane last year that rolled through and yeah. did a lot of damage. Seeing sort of the, the rebirth of this area has, has been inspiring for me. What have you seen in this sense of community here to recover from this? Well, you know, the community came together after the hurricane. Everybody helps clean, clean up the mess and all. I mean, I even had my son come from another town, brought his equipment, cleared mud off the roads and stuff, you know not charging anybody or anything just just doing it because it's a great place and people love to visit here yeah and from where we live in central florida it's a three-hour drive to really somewhere completely totally different it's really old florida meets coastal living as well the way of life here is is just something spectacular why do you think people should come visit from orlando it just to get away i mean you get out here on the water your mind's nowhere it's not on land it's out here you, you've forgotten everything that I mean, you might have things trouble you. You get out here on this water and it's just another world. You, 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 you clear your mind, you know, it's a... Throw that cell phone away, not necessarily overboard, but right. at least hide it like I did mine in the <laughs> yeah. front of the boat there yeah. and, and come visit Steenhatchee River Inn and Marina, see Captain Baker. I'm telling you, there's just something special about the place here. You've got to come see it yourself. The best of Central Florida, Justin's Choice, is sponsored in part by these fine sponsors. I have chosen, and I think I did a wonderful job as you are licking your lips right now. I am, how right. can I not? Best summer business, El Leoncito. I'm so happy to be here. Joined as well by Michael and Sergio, the owner, GM. I feel like family as soon as I walk in here, and what a family history with this amazing restaurant. Tell me about the history. Oh, well, we started out in Southern California, my father and my mother. Uh, they had 1977. 77. Yeah. Just a couple and still years still around ago. kicking. <laughs> oh, yeah. mm. Most restaurants last what? Six months or a year? I mean, oh, now we've been kicking year. since 77. Oh yeah, long, long time now. They did a great job, um, and now I'm carrying it on with my wife Jasmine, and my sons helped me out too, Vincent, Maikito. Now the third generation here running, running the restaurant, running the show with you. Your GM here, Sergio, you've been here a long time as well. How long? 40 years. 40 years. Wow. And, and it really is a true family here, isn't it? Yes. And the, the location, though, is, is really unbeatable. Right here on the Indian River, not the lagoon, not very the lagoon. close to the lagoon. <laughs> uh, and a very important piece of American history right across the Indian River as well. Tell me about the location. Uh, we're very fortunate to be on the Indian River. We have KSC and NASA right across the way. We got, I think, one of the best spots, if not the best spot, to watch any rocket launch. Um, got the VAB, you can see all the launch pads from there. Right over there. Yeah, yeah. you, you can see it through this window. Here, yeah. then you can go outside and it's right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, how has the Space Coast really making a comeback over the last few years affected your business? Oh, it's really strong. Yeah. I mean, it's growing and growing. We had uh, Mr. Bezos come in recently. Casual. And, yeah. <laughs> no big deal. Just yeah. Jeff Bezos was here. Yeah. It's no big deal. Do you get a big heads up on that or is it just sort of happen? They actually called for, um, for a reservation and we said we don't take reservations because we didn't realize who it was. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, they did call, but we didn't, we didn't know. Now the food, people keep coming back, yes, for the view, but it's really, it's really the food. Tell me about your food program. Uh, we serve only Angus uh, choice steaks. We make everything in house. Our chef Antonio has been with us since the beginning, it's not, about 46 years now. And everything's um, made to perfection as best we possibly can. Guacamole fresh daily. I can't think of anything else we could possibly improve. We've got it to the point where, you know, it's and getting it's not frozen, right? Oh, no, no. We do not buy any frozen food. 0, 0.0, I pretty much eliminated anything that's prepackaged. Sergio, you spend a lot of time here, but you love the food as well. What's your favorite thing on the menu? <laughs> the morcajete. Oh, yeah? Great, the perfect. This is, is mine, sorry. Good. Yeah, <laughs> the morcajete, and you have the two things. Morcajete and 
really at that point. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Now, Michaela's also been staring down a couple of cocktails in yes. front of us also. <laughs> Best margaritas around for sure. How would you describe the cocktail program? We sell more tequila than any restaurant in the county. Is that right? That's what my distributor tells me. Wow. So we, uh, we go through a lot of margaritas. Uh, our house margarita is by far the most popular. But uh, Cadillac's probably right behind it. And we just started adding a couple new ones, the Billionario, which is a 1942 tequila. If you're a tequila person, everybody loves that tequila, that Don Julio. Uh, we have quite the avocado margarita. This is a habanero, a little spicy. So, Sergio, let me ask you this. I, I can tell already, just walking in here, first of all, the parking lot was packed. I bet you see customers again and again and again because the experience here is, is really second to none when it comes to a restaurant like this. How often do you see customers? How often? Yeah, do you see them come back and back and back? All the time. Yeah. <laughs> All the time. Yeah. You try to kick them out, you're like, you've been here every day this week. Yeah. Wow. yeah. <laughs> But, and one of the things I love is this isn't the only location. You have other locations as well. Yeah, we have uh, in Vieira, El Insula. We had that one for six years now. Beautiful building. Have you ever been in it? We did uh, put a lot of work into that one. We also have our sister restaurant, which is the Chaparral Mexican Grill. And we do Killer, and that's in Coco. Yeah. And so Bezos wasn't the only famous guy to come in here recently. A lot of people have stopped, have stopped through. We've been really fortunate. We had uh, Governor DeSantis, who's doing a great job. <clears throat> Let's see, uh, Carrot Top over the years have come in. His family used to come here actually all the time, and they finally brought him in. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we have Tiger Woods, his caddy. Uh, we used to have restaurants in Orlando and a lot of them went to that location as well. Yeah. I think a lot of people during the summer do make trips over here, close to the water, close to the you know, space coast, of course. Why should people stop by El Leoncito to check you out? Uh, the best margaritas anywhere, number one. <laughs> but you won't leave unhappy. There's no bad choices on our menu. We don't, everything you're gonna get pick, you're gonna end up happy. Yeah. That I can guarantee. Keep up the great work. I'm really blown away by what you're yes. doing over here. The place is amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Sergio, 40 great years. I don't think they could do it without you either, buddy. The family environment that you've created is, it, you, you feel it as soon as you walk in. That's how I feel. I appreciate job, it. Brother. She's ready to eat. I know. She's ready to eat. I know. She's like, shut up, Justin. It's time to eat and drink, of course. Well, what a great show. Uh, it is summertime, of course. A little hot out, but a lot of great places to visit throughout Central Florida. Absolutely. Great job to you, as always. Thank you to our amazing crew back at the station, back at home base. A different kind of base than yes. we're at here today. Yeah, that's space. To Brent, who's here on site with us today, thank you. Most importantly, as always, thank you. See you again next week for more Best of Central Florida. Four. The preceding Best of Central Florida program was sponsored in part by these fine sponsors. Are you worried about your student loan payments? I don't blame you. The great news for you is now we have more options than ever. Go to our website, youhavepower.com, to find out what options may exist for you and your student loans.